I don't even need to grab it. Even if I just put my hand over it. Oh, I can feel the heat. And it's almost, it's almost unbearable. You just can't, you can't do it for very long. I feel like it, if you did it for too long, you might actually hurt yourself. Welcome to the Oasis. My name is Mike and today is going to be a fun video because I'm going to be testing out an interesting new VR product called Thermoreal from a Korean company called Tegway. Now I actually met the team from Tegway at Gamescom this year and they kindly sent this out for me to check out on the channel. Now what they've developed is a facial interface kit which can be placed on any VR headset using Velcro and this facial interface kit can provide heating and cooling sensations depending on your interactions with the virtual world. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to trying this one out. So first I'm going to show you what comes in the box and go over the specs. Then we're going to be going and setting it up with the Oculus Quest and then we'll go through the basic demos that they sent over and then finally I'll give you my conclusion at the end of the video. I hope you guys and girls enjoy this one and without further ado, let's dive in. So here's the box they sent over for their Thermoreal facial interface kit. In the box you get this Bluetooth module which contains a 1900 milliamp hour battery and this serves as the power to the facial interface kit and the communication link to your PC using Bluetooth. The module has a single button to turn it on and can be recharged using a USB-C cable which is included in the box. And then we have the Thermoreal facial interface kit itself. I'm pretty sure this is a standard Vive facial interface kit, which has been modified to add these three thermoelectric devices. Tegway are stating that the Thermoreal can intensify a virtual reality experience by adding hot and cold sensations, as well as pain, which is apparently a mix of both hot and cold at the same time. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Apparently it covers a temperature range of 4 to 40 degrees Celsius. I'm going to be putting this on the Oculus Quest using the VR Cover replacement interface kit as this can hold the thermo reel in place using Velcro. Now all I need to do is attach the Bluetooth module to the Quest strap and we're ready to install the software. The software setup is really straightforward. All I needed to do was turn on Bluetooth on my PC so it can communicate with the thermo reel module and install the B Haptics player. B Haptics are also a Korean company and they make haptic vests for virtual reality which I've tested out in another video which I'll link up here now if you're interested in checking it out. Hopefully we can see a Tegway and B Haptics collaboration in the future with a thermo haptic vest. That would be so, so awesome. Now the module is paired with the B Haptics player, we're all set up and good to go and now it's time for the fun part and this is testing it out in VR. Okay, and here we are in the very first demo. Now, as you can see, it's pretty basic. We've just got this corridor here, and we've got two rooms. A hot room <laughs> and a cold room over there. And then you can move between the two. So if you're wondering how I'm doing this, I'm using a virtual desktop to uh, transfer the video, obviously streaming it to my Quest. So if you want to know how to do that, I've done a separate video on how to do that, and I'll link up here right now. So let's go into the room, see if we can feel the temperature change. I can already feel it getting a little bit warmer. This is completely insane. So as we're approaching the door, it's getting warmer and warmer on my face, very gradual, and oh my word. <laughs> oh my word. Ow, it's actually getting quite hot. And I'm only at the door. <laughs> this is insane. Okay, let's let's move further into the room. Let's see how far we can get. Holy cow! Oh my god! N holy crap! Ah! No! Literally, that is. I feel like that is burning my head. That is freaking nuts! That is nuts. Let's, let's try again. Warmer, warmer. It's, it's, when I get to the chair, it's almost unbearable. Oh, oh, ah, ow, ow, <laughs> ow. Holy crap. I feel like it's actually burning almost. How hot does this thing get? Apparently it's got a range of like four to 40 degrees Celsius. You also question how safe, how safe this is. I'm sure it is safe, but my word. This feels nicer actually after the hot. Lovely, nice and cool. 
Beautiful. Let's let's go in. Oh my god. Oh my god. And again. It's almost getting so cold it's unbearable. Oh. I'm getting brain freeze. Ah! Oh, let's see how if we can make it to the edge. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Oh. That is completely nuts. One more time. It's so cool that it, it gradually gets colder the further you move into the room. Man. Oh! Oh, that is unbearable. Get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't expect it to be so extreme. I thought it would just get a little bit cold or a little bit warm. But this is actually getting legitimately hot. It feels like it's super hot on my head and really cold. <laughs> super hot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out of here. Oh. So that was the first demo. Let's go and try the second one now. Okay, so this is the second demo. Again, very basic layout. Uh, we've got two objects here that we can interact with with our hands. And then when we touch them, that'll be represented by hot and cold. <laughs> it's nuts. But I have to say, the actual interface itself is getting quite uncomfortable on my head. You can feel the sensors kind of digging into my head now. And I've only been wearing it Oh my god, I've only been wearing it like maybe five to ten minutes, so definitely there could be improvements there. I don't even need to grab it, even if I just put my hand over it. Oh, I can feel the heat, and it's almost, it's almost unbearable. You just can't, you can't do it for very long. I feel like it, if you did it for too long, you might actually hurt yourself. Wow. Okay, after doing that, I definitely want to step into the shower. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. And you can, I can turn the heat up, make it a hot shower. <laughs> or a cold shower. It would be nice if uh, you could use the vest at the same time to feel the raindrops. I think I remember them demoing that, but I couldn't get that to quite work in my testing. But, uh, yeah, that's cool. I like the shower. I like the shower. So one more time, I'm going to put my hand in the hot. Maybe if I do both at the same time, maybe I wonder what that would be like. So let's see if I can, because they say that the pain one is a mix of both hot and cold. So maybe I can do that now. Uh, ah! <laughs> no, it just, it just feels really hot. So I don't think the pain part of this is working. So yeah, that is uh, the demos. I'm going to go and check my head, make sure I don't have any third degree burns. Let's jump to the outro. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. That's the Thermo Reel from Tegway. And what can I say? It works. I think it actually works too well, in fact. It was actually getting so hot that I was getting a bit concerned, actually, wearing this on my face. I really do put my mind, body, and soul on the line for you guys and girls, so I hope you appreciate it. Of course, this is a very early prototype right now, but whenever I try stuff like this out, it always makes me think of what's going to be possible in the future. Really feels like Ready Player One stuff. As the thermoelectric material used in this facial interface kit is flexible, the applications are really endless. This technology could be integrated into controllers, uh, wearable haptic vests, and right now, Tegway are actually developing a pair of headphones that actively cool your ears down during their use. Just imagine a facial interface kit integrated with like Beat Saber, for example, so it cools you down after a hot and sweaty session, or you feel the heat from an explosion in Onward, for example. It's really early days, but it's a little glimpse of what could be possible in the future. But of course, let me know in the comments down below some suggestions that you've got of applications where this could be used in games or VR applications. I'd love to know your suggestions in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed for all my future content. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.